Interventional cardiology simply means that um, we have tools where we can open up blocked arteries or clogged arteries. Um, now, there's two situations where we would do that. One is when someone's actively having a heart attack, and in, in that situation, we try to rush them to the, to the catheterization lab as, as soon as possible uh, to get the vessel open, and we know doing that, the quicker we do that, the, uh, the more likely we are to save someone's life and, and, and maintain their heart function. Um, so that's one situation. Another time we would think about opening up a blocked artery um, with the tools that we have is when someone has symptoms of chest discomfort or chest pain um, that we call angina or, or angina. And in that situation, um, we can open up a block, blocked artery in much the same way to relieve symptoms and, and help people feel better. The one thing patients will notice when they're, when they're in the cath labs at the table will move around. There's a big C-arm around them that is basically our, our video camera that moves around them. Uh, to get different pictures from different angles. So that's how I'm seeing things, Us using dye that blocks x-rays and using an x-ray video to kind of see where everything is. Uh, the stents are metallic, so those will show up in the vessel. Everything I put in the vessel um, has little markers on it so I know exactly where the ends of the balloon are, where the ends of the stent are. And again, all this is, um, is through x-ray. When angioplasty first started out, um, angioplasty just means blowing a balloon in the heart arteries. Uh, that's all we did to, to open the blockages is um, use balloons it was it wasn't uh, it wasn't the safest procedure and it didn't have it wasn't as durable as it is now um, the technology is changing really quickly and now we have lots of different tools at our disposal um, when I when I speak with patients now about the possibility of getting a stent there's two things that I well there's two kinds of stents I talk about one's called a, a bare metal stent and one's called the other one is called a drug coated stent um, the problem with stents since they were first developed is that um, oftentimes the body can react against that stent and the vessel will reclose over time. Um, so the bare metal stent was the first generation. Um, now we have a new generation of drug coated stents that have a special coating on them that prevents the body from reacting in that way against the stent. So they have a higher chance of staying open longer, less chance of needing to come back for repeat procedures. Um, so that's the definite advantage. Disadvantage um, is that you need to be very good about taking your medication. Um, with either kind of stent, you need to be very good, very good about that. But with a drug coated stent, especially, you'll need to be on a medication asp aspirin probably for life. And another medication like Plavix or a newer medication is called Effient um, that help keep that stent open and prevent prevent the stent from clotting off.